Anybody can go back to the 1900s and look at all the mental asylums. And this is interesting. These buildings are absolutely massive and they have like thousands of rooms. So then you start to wonder, why would someone build a mental asylum that large? Imagine the resources it would take. And especially because around the 1900s, you see people building little houses that are like wooden checks. They're all like little wooden checks all over because it was they were trying to build something. Then you have these huge mental asylums where they were locking up people who went against the narrative. That's what those were used for. Anybody who said they were hearing voices because of the rollout of the radio or going against any of these that they were trying to put into everybody's arm at that time or trying to go against paying taxes, they threw them in the mental asylum and they locked them up. And they got rid of a lot of the population at that time or a portion of that population who went against the brain. So people should look into the 1900 mental asylums and that whole thing and start to see that the buildings and the size and the structure, and then they demolished all of them. Actually, there was one in Chicago that I went to one time. I remember I had to uh, deliver a pizza back in the day and it was a mental asylum and they demoed it in Chicago. And I wonder why, gotta get rid of the history.